Halloween is around the corner again. And Halloween is the second largest holiday in the United States after Christmas. And every year, Muslims struggle to decide whether or not they're going to be celebrating this day like everyone else around them. And you know, it's a really difficult decision. And I know people who struggle a lot, especially those who go to work, and there's a lot of pressure from their fellow co-workers, there are people who have children in school, and there's a lot of pressure from their teachers and from the friends of their children and other parents that they must celebrate this holiday. And there's some aspects of Halloween that many people aren't aware of, and they're not aware of the origin behind some of these things. Have you ever asked yourself, why do people dress up like witches and ghouls, demons and vampires, and even Satan? Or what they supposedly think Satan is supposed to be looking like? There's a history behind all of this. And as Muslims, we're not supposed to just blindly conform to whatever we see taking place around us. We should ask questions. We should figure out and ask and criticize why is it that people are celebrating this holiday in this particular way? So I encourage you to research and some of the things that you're going to find will be shocking. You're going to find out that Halloween is actually based upon an old day that the Celtic people about 2,000 years ago in the area of Ireland used to practice. It's called the Day of Samhain. It was pronounced differently, but that's the way that it's spelled. And this is a day in which they believed that on October 31st, the dead spirits would come back to earth and they would roam around. And they used to celebrate this day because some of them were happy that the good spirits came back and some of them were actually trying to ward off the evil from some of these evil spirits that are there. And they would wear costumes and they would wear face masks, scary looking things in order to scare off these demons. These are some of the origins of Halloween that many people don't know about. They don't realize that it has a paganistic idolatry built into the festival. There's an aspect of the God of death there's an aspect of Satan being inside the actual festival. And then all of this combined together and evolved over time to become what we know now today as Halloween. So as Muslims, we need to stop and say, well, wait a minute. Why do people say trick or treat when they're going to get candy? It basically means that either give me a treat or I'm going to play a trick on you. Not exactly the best thing uh, to be saying for at least a Muslim coming out on their tongues. So when it comes to the day of Halloween, this is what I encourage. I encourage that we get beyond these normal discussions of, is it haram to celebrate Halloween or is it halal? It's not just a question of haram and of halal. It's a question of, we need to understand as Muslims living in this country, we need to understand what is it that people are doing and why are they doing it? 